Have you ever wondered why a competitor of yours keeps popping up and ranking on the first page of Google organically? Well, there's a way to find out exactly how they got there. You can actually use third party tools to be able to identify and reverse engineer the success of the first page of Google. And in today's video, we are going to walk through literally all of that. Digital marketing is getting more expensive than ever before, especially on the paid ad side, which is why it's so important to truly understand your organic SEO rankings, both with your website as well as your Google business profile. And there's less spots organically on the first page of Google than ever before because Google makes their money from paid advertising, no different than any other social media or search engine platform. So being on the first page of Google is worth its weight in gold. And for those of you that may be wondering and questioning, SEO is in fact not dead. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a random search that I'm making on Google for a roofing company in Chicago. We're going to take a roofing company that I have no idea who they are. I found them on page 21 of Google, which obviously means they're not ranking effectively. And then we're going to reverse engineer what the first page of Google actually looks like. So that way you can take this and go implement this into your marketing strategy into your market. So that way you can go dominate and truly understand where the gap is between you and your competitors. So as you'll see over here, I have everything lined up, ready to go. I did a search for roofing company Chicago. And so as you make that search, you are going to see as with most businesses and anything, you are going to see a slew of paid ads up here at the top ranging from Google ads to Google guaranteed or local services. Then you are going to see the Google business profile rankings. Now in this particular video, we are not going to dive deep into the Google business profile rankings. We've made some previous videos. Go check out our profile on tips and other past videos on how to effectively rank your Google business profile. But one thing I do want to point out here is that roofing company Chicago keyword is searched that specific thing on average via third party data 1900 times a month. It would then cost $13.05 on average in order to pay for a Google ad. And the competitiveness is about a 0.46 out of one. So a fairly competitive keyword, obviously roofing and Chicago both being very competitive as well. So we are going to take a look at some of these top websites here in comparison to this website that I found on the 21st page of Google, which is Green World Construction. So we found Matthews Roofing, which is the number one results. We then also found uh, Second City Roofing and Exteriors. We have Champion Roofing, so we're gonna take a look at their stuff. And let's go ahead and take a look at Lindholm roofing as well. So on the surface level, some of the key differences here, and I'll get over to uh, page 21, which is where I found them. On the surface, one of the first things that I take a look at on this first page of Google is what are the titles and descriptions of the top competitive keywords. So if I go and I take a look at uh, what maybe I found them on the 20th page of Google. Let's go find this real quick. Where were they at? Yes, 20th page of Google, the 198th search result. I can see that their title of their homepage is literally the word home and then Chicago construction and then the name of their roofing company. So this tells me that likely whenever the website was built, there was no re SEO optimization because that's a default thing that WordPress would would obviously spit out. So I have all these other like tools and analytics to be able to show all this stuff. These are coming from SEO Quake and SEM Rush. So you can download these extensions right here and it will spit out a variety of different things, which we will talk about here in just one second. 
So as I'm taking a look at these things specifically, I'm able to see, okay, this is what the 20th page of Google has with Green World Construction. That is what theirs is. Well, what does that first page of Google actually look like? So Matthews Roofing is Matthews Roofing, Chicago Commercial and Residential Roofing. Second City is Chicago Roofing Contractor and then Roofing Company Chicago. Then we have Champion uh, Roofing. We have Chicago Commercial and Residential Roofing. And then we have Roof Repair and Installation, Lindholm Chicago. Now, all those things being said, there's a variety of different things that go into why all four of these websites are on the first page of Google and Greenway Roofing is on the 21st page. So it's not just the title, but those are some things that I'm typically thinking about. So I want to mirror what success has already been there is clearly I need some sort of Chicago roofing keyword, ideally one that's searched pretty heavily and maybe the competitiveness isn't the most competitive Chicago roofing keyword, but that does have some low hanging fruit lined into it with plenty of opportunity versus the construction side. So again, this was more, hey, we just basically took what was already there from the website build and we didn't go reduplicate it. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to see, okay, how many pages is on this website? So SEO Quake will tell me how many pages are being currently indexed by Google. One of the things that Google takes into consideration is quantity and quality of content on the website. This is, a, this is a, basically telling me this is a 93 page website. From there, we have Second City Construction. Let's see what they have, 120 pages, right? So then we have Champion Roofing. They have 267. And Lindholm. They have 817, quite a few pages, right? What does, and I did no prior research on any of this stuff, 41. So right there, we already have a gap, right? So we can take into consideration all of the other stuff, right? But one of the things you can control is how many pages you have on your website and the quality of those pages. So what I typically do from here is I would then do a content gap analysis. Content gap analysis is basically taking a look at that first page of Google, figuring out what all pages those websites have that mine currently don't. So if I take a look at a foundation, one of the key things is gonna be location pages. We have service pages. One of the key things I see here is there's multiple services that this company offers. So they do residential and they do commercial. They do residential and commercial construction. They do chimney repair and masonry, and they do seal coating and paving. So my first thought is you probably need maybe multiple websites for some of these other things that don't necessarily mix in all of the time with what a roofing company does. But secondarily to that is their locations page is more of a blog than an actual uh, location page, which I'll show you here in a second. So my thought process is we need to simplify this. We need roofing. We need X, Y, and Z roof types you end up doing on projects. And then from there, you can break it down to commercial and residential, roof replacement versus roof repair. All of the different types of keywords that someone might type in when they are looking for a roofing company. And then after that, you wanna have location pages on your website. So the thought process is good here, but you will see is that it's more of along the lines of roof repair. Well, you really need a Lincoln Park roofing page first. And then from there, you can build out something much more in depth of all of the different things that would come under Lincoln Park. So Lincoln Park would kind of be the parent page. And then eventually you would have a Lincoln Park roof repair. Then you would have Lincoln Park roof replacement, Lincoln Park residential, commercial, and so on. And then you would do that for every suburb that you're in, but you need a, a parent location page first and foremost. So if I go and I take a look at Matthews, for example, Matthews, they have this broken down very, very well. They have a commercial roofing service, exactly what I had just mentioned. And then under there, they have replacement, repair, restoration, and maintenance. Same thing 
on the uh, the residential side. Then they have a page, absolutely incredible for every single type of roof they do, from energy efficiency to low slope to slope ste ste uh, steep slope and so on. So they have quite a few pages on their website. Now I don't necessarily see unless I'm missing it. And again, I'm just running by the seat of my pant here, doing an audit. I don't necessarily see location pages for all the different locations that they would do business in. Now they could have it, it could be hidden, um, but that's something that I would add even into that site as well. And so we have Second City. So a little bit um, similar. They do have some similar offerings to both of the websites we just took a look at. Other than that, I don't see a lot of city pages or location pages. So one thing is somebody might take a look at this and Adam, why are they there then if, if they don't have all the things you're talking about? Well, one, you could have really good offsite SEO. You could have really good organic Google business profile, but also Second City Construction could have been around for a very, very long period of time in comparison to a lot of the other competitors that are out there. So then we have Champion Roofing. They have a little bit of a breakdown, very similar. They have the roof types. They have service areas. So let's see if this is as has more in line. So this is exactly more in line with what I was referring to earlier. Now, it doesn't look like they have all of the pages knocked off, but it does look like they have some key pages knocked off. So if I go to the Deerfield page, this is the Deerfield parent page, ideally. And then you're gonna have a little bit of everything on this, hey, we do roof maintenance in, in uh, Deerfield. We do roof repairs, we do for roof installation. But if you really wanted to take this even further, you could do a roof replacement page in Deerfield. So I'm just throwing examples out, getting the wheels spinning, doing all those different things that ideally would help you understand where the gap is from where you're currently at. Now, Lindholm Roofing, I love this. I would also obviously add in the roof replacement and roof repair because they just have more so the types of roofing. They do gutters as well. They have some additional services, right? About, they have service areas. So let's see what this looks like. Yep, this is a little bit more in line. They have the counties first, and then they have, so this is the website that I was just showing you with 800 plus pages. I love this layout. They have literally an entire page for Camelot City, right? And, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But this is, this is what we're talking about right here. This is where the gold is at. This is where you go deeper, wider, and stronger than your competition. So if I'm, again, taking a look at this particular page and taking a look at all these different things, there's all the offsite SEO. We can talk about backlinks. We can talk about domain rating. We can talk about all of that stuff. And I could pull up third-party tools to be able to go and do that. Do that. But for most companies, those third-party tools are very, very expensive, right? We can get you set up on Search Atlas with a free seven-day trial so you can test some of this stuff out and be able to go do that. But it doesn't matter what things you're going to try to do from a backlink standpoint or press release standpoint or anything like that from an SEO tactic. If you don't have content on your website, it doesn't matter. So you can have the best eight pages on your website, all SEO the heck out, title tags, descriptions, alt text, etc. But if there's not enough content here, you're going to struggle to rank. So what I would recommend for this is having a home roofing page. Then under there, because really like residential roofing, is it a service? Yes, of course. But the parent page is roofing. And then under that, roofing and construction. And then under that, even further, all of these other things. And then I would have those service area pages. They've already started to implement a blog and do all those different things. But fixing that, as well as some of the on-site search engine optimization that we talked about here, right? So the keyword, the home, the title, right? You just saw on that first page of Google, success leaves clues. Everyone has Chicago roofing of some sort of keyword on this title of their homepage. I would put something along the lines of roofing company Chicago dash green world roofing. That would be my title. The description, they currently don't have one, right? So I would implement something along the lines of green world roofing is the premier roofing company in Chicago offering residential and commercial services. Call us for a free quote today. So of course you, you need content on your website, but if your content is unoptimized as well, it's not going to matter. 
the H1, so there is no H1 header. Think of H1 as like the first chapter of your book. You're only supposed to have one. They currently don't have one. So once more content gets added to the site, you need to make sure you're building your website out on a solid foundation as well as building on top of it every new page, all these other services and things like that, that they actually match up to exactly what we're talking about with this strategy. So there's literally 70 plus things I could talk about and say, this is exactly why they're here. This is exactly why. But in most markets, in most industries, really the gap between where you're at and where your competition is at on that first page of Google likely comes down to content. So I hope you got some value from this video. You got the wheels turning. You saw some areas of opportunity as you can literally go take and download SEO quick and do a free search and do all of this stuff and truly understand where you're at and where your competition is at and what that gap is. Now this tool I forgot to mention is seotesting.com. Super awesome tool, free of charge as well. It will give you all the information you need to put a content roadmap in place, to put a plan in place in order to close that gap on your competition. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel so that way you can get notified every single time we are launching a new video to help you build your business, your, your brand, your marketing, your advertising organically without spending thousands and thousands of dollars on ads. You can also head over to our free Facebook group, which you'll see in the description of this video, Builders of Authority. We have daily content, weekly trainings, and much more where we do audits like this. If you're interested in having your website audited live and getting much more information so that way you can become the authority in your industry, in your local market. Thanks for watching today's video. And remember, authority isn't built overnight, it's built over time.